Strictly Come Dancing star Les Dennis managed to find love after a number of rocky romances over the years. The comedian and actor, 69, moved on from Britain's Got Talent judge Amanda Holden after they married when she was just 22 and he was 40. They were married for eight years, but Amanda's unfaithfulness by having an affair with men behaving badly as Neil Morrissey ultimately ended their romance. She was Lay's second wife, following his relationship with Lynn Webster, with whom he shares a son. Lay eventually found love again with former HR professional Claire Nicholson. The pair met in 2005 after crossing paths at a charity event following his divorce from Amanda. After everything that had happened I felt damaged. At times I just wanted to bugger off to Spain and retire, to run away from all the pain. I certainly wasn't interested in another serious relationship. Speaking to the Sunday Times said, Claire, who worked in HR and now looks after our finances, was a lovely person and, yes, I did ask if she wanted to go out for dinner, but it was nothing more than me being polite. The couple went on to marry in Highgate, North London in 2009. Leigh and Claire also share two children together. They welcomed Eleanor Grace in 2008 and their son Thomas Christopher in 2011. He has said of being an older parent, Now, I have the time and energy, well, sometimes, to enjoy Eleanor to the full. She has brought such joy into my life. When Claire and I knew we wanted to be together, I wasn't sure about starting a family. But I loved her enough that I'd be happy with it. Then, when she got pregnant, I was over the moon and released somehow from any worry about being a dad again in my mid-fifties. When signing up for BBC dance competition Strictly, Lay confessed Claire burst into tears. He said, I was in the mix for Strictly, and then I heard from my agent I'd got it, and I called my wife and she cried, but in a good way. She didn't cry going, don't do it. He is ticking off new experiences as he reaches the end of his 60s. It's a big challenge. He admits, the last few years, I've had challenges just come out of nowhere, like I did my first opera two years ago at the RSC, with no training. So this is such a massive opportunity as I approach 70. I thought yeah, why not? In 2000, Amanda cheated on Lay with Neil, while starring in Happy Birthday Shakespeare on BBC. Two years after her five-week fling with the Line of Duty actor, they decided to give things another go, but they called it quits in 2002. Amanda has always spoken highly of Lay and revealed that it was the worst time of her life. After it had all died down a bit in 2014, Neil finally said sorry to Lay for the affair he had with his then-wife Amanda. Neil shared his groveling apology on Piers Morgan's life stories. He said, I feel sorry for how the situation was dealt with and I feel sorry for how emotional they seemed to become. It was very difficult for him and for that I'm very sorry. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.